Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at how to do some styling on a classic report. Uh, this is a question that actually came in uh, from one of my other videos from somebody watching it. So let's go ahead and create a quick classic report here. Call it test report. And we'll just make this on our resume table. And click create page. Okay, so here we've got a page. Let's go ahead and run it real quick. All right, so what we're going to do today is take a look. This is our classic report, and what we want to do is style um, kind of a single column uh, as, as we go across. So the first thing I do here is actually look at inspecting the page. What you'll see with the classic report is it uses the old table, table body, table row format. But one of the things you'll notice, if you look at the cell here, is that um, the table data has a unique attribute called title which actually matches up here uh, the name that we've given our, our particular uh, column. So what we want to do uh, is instill CSS to look at uh, and, and find this and then style it. And the way that we can do that would be to go back to our page here. This is our test report. We'll actually go to the top of the page here and go down to our inline CSS. And then we're going to leverage um, syntax like this. So this says, hey, look for the custom attributes on the page of type headers. And when headers is approximately equal to the word title, we want to style the background to aquamarine. So once again, we're looking over here and saying custom attribute called headers. When it's equal title, we want to apply custom styling to it. So I'll go ahead and hit OK. I'll hit Save. And we'll go back to our page and refresh. We can see here we've got this, uh, well, don't, don't knock my color choice, but you can see how the CSS applied. Uh, we've got an aquamarine background. If I go down here, you can see that nothing's changed here, but what we've done is uh, for that particular column, uh, we're now applying custom CSS uh, with, with our attribute uh, selector here. So if you want to ever style a column in a classic report, that's how you can do it.